Hi, welcome to my open heart surgery recovery series. Uh, my name is Todd. If you're new to the series, please check out the first one. I've linked it below in the, in the comments uh, or description if you've been following all along. Thank you so much for the support and I hope this has been a useful tool or an enjoyable outlet or informational at the very least. Um, today marks six weeks since I've had the open heart surgery and things are going great. Um, I really think there are two kinds of recovery. Uh, two phases. The first phase being recovery from the actual surgery itself. Um, getting over incision wounds and the breastplate being opened up and managing the pain. And then the second phase is more about regaining strength and endurance lost from being immobile, you know, just sitting around kind of couch potatoing while you recover. Um, now they both kind of bleed together between the two phases in, in my opinion. But I feel like I'm definitely in, in the phase two portion. Now, I, I still get pain um, related to the incisions, or to the, especially the breastplate uh, issue, um, particularly when I, when I cough or when I sneeze. Um, I'm supposed to use a, a pillow to kind of brace the chest when I do that. Coughing's not too bad, but sneezing sucks. I mean, that, that, is, that is some ungodly pain. And you know what it feels like is, is in the movie Alien, the first one where the alien actually is you know, the first time it pops out while they're eating dinner and kind of runs around the table, that's what it feels like is going to happen. And then not only that, the, the nerves kind of fire on the left side of my, my chest and my shoulder. And it goes down, I guess the ulnar nerve is what it is, I'm not sure. But it goes down, I can feel it in my, all the way to my elbow. And it, and it takes a couple seconds. I actually, when I sneeze, you know, I'll do the ah chew and I'll just go, ow. <laughs> it's, when I think about it, it's so funny to me. But when, I, when people are around me, like my folks or, or other friends have seen me do that, they just kind of wince because it must not look like it's that enjoy and it's not. It's, it sucks, but that's about the only really pain I'm, I'm dealing with. Um, most of the stuff I'm dealing with now are all the, any pain I'm dealing with is just muscle soreness from activating atrophied muscles, you know, and, and boy, I, I'm sore because of that. I, I've been doing quite a bit of, of walking. Um, you know, the other day I, I was telling some friends this story. It's probably not what you want to hear from a heart surgery patient, but uh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts, and if you don't know what a Dunkin' Donuts is, it's a, it's a donut uh, chain franchise on the East Coast. And there's one, you know, a couple blocks or several blocks from my apartment. So Sunday morning I went there. I walked over there uh, to get, you know, coffee and a couple donuts. One or, yeah, I got two donuts and some juice and stuff. And, you know, walking back, it was good to be like a 35 minute walk total, but, you know, I was walking up the hill back to my apartment and I stopped to check out this historical marker um, and I'm reading it. And, you know, I was kind of, that's why I was, I was checking out the historical marker, you know, for appearances. But really, I was just sitting there going, I was I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I was so out of breath from walking up the hill. And my legs, the really funny thing was my, my thighs and stuff were just kind of quivering. It's like, it's like you've been running all day, or you, you run a, a race, or you've been working out a lot, and your muscles are just kind of freaking out because they, you're not used to that activity. And that's exactly what it was. They were not used to, to me you know, kicking their butt. So I took a little break, made it the rest of the way, didn't fall out or anything, which is good. Um, so that's a, that's a positive. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm driving a lot more. Um, went and got my hair cut last week, which is about a 20 minute each way drive. And, and that's cool. The little pillow I use to kind of brace myself. When I drive, I have to put that on my chest and put the seatbelt over it. So this big heart pillow, right, that I think I showed in a, pre a previous video. So I, I wonder if people drive by and they say, like, is that guy got, you know, boobs or something? They got this big blue pillow that sticks out from underneath the seatbelt. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty awkward, but um, a necessary evil at this point. Um, especially since it's been kind of warm. Now, the last day or so has been kind of cool, but a couple days ago it was kind of warm, so I'd have like this sweat, like really big sweaty patches on my chest. It's so disgusting. But, you know, you just got to do what you got to do kind of thing. Um, let's see. Um, you know, uh, more to like the weakness aspect of, you know, the atrophied muscles. I went to bed last night and I was kind of laying on my side and I had my arm like this. And it made me think of back to like when you're a little kid and you say, you know, show me your muscles and the little kids do like this kind of thing. And I was like, there's nothing there, man. Everything's gone. It's crazy. I, so it's, it's a little daunting, you know, and, and it kind of, 
you kind of feel bad about it because, but you know, just going to take a little bit of work to kind of build the muscles back up and get the endurance going uh, as well. So um, let's see, I went back to work this week, which was, which is crazy. I mean, I had my vaccines done last week, like I said in the, in the previous video, didn't have any reaction to the flu or the pneumonia vaccine. Um, so it was just a matter of getting back. I'm, I'm only doing half days for now. Each day I'm going from like 8 to noon and then coming home. Um, and there's a lot of stuff I missed out on. A lot of catching up I have to do to kind of get back up to speed with, with the work. Um, everybody works really cool. They're really nice. I, I got back in my work wife had all these balloons and streamers and stuff hanging from the ceiling and all over my desk, which was totally unexpected. But, you know, it's nice to know that people are, are thinking about you and they care for you. So that was super cool. Um, but when I get home at, you know, around 1230 or whatever, I'm whooped, man. I mean, I'm, it's, it's, it's amazing how much actually you walk around if, you know, you're, you're active and doing stuff. Um, you know, just walk around talking to people, being in meetings, standing up, talking to people about stuff. And I get home, man, I, I passed out on my sofa for like two hours just kind of in this position. <laughs> Didn't even realize I just fell asleep while I was watching a movie when I got home. Um, so... It, the good thing is that I'm seeing each day, today I feel a little bit better, you know, a little bit stronger. Um, it's a slow process, but uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, and, uh, and I'm, I'm pleased so far. I'm trying not to get, you know, too down or, or you know, uh, fatalistic about how slow my, or what I consider to be slow, you know, for my recovery. But it's going well. Okay, um, last night I did something really cool, too. I, I went out to a local pub. There's a friend of mine who's a singer, songwriter, and he plays the guitar. Um, he had an acoustic set at this local pub near me, and I used to love to go see him. I just haven't had a chance because I've been out for you know like a month and a half or so. Um, so I made it for made it to go see his show last night or see him play, which was great. Um, I was only there even just for like an hour and a half. I was able to do that. The hardest part really was you know f driving over there. I got there right around happy hour time frame, so there's really not much parking. So I had to park for a long distance from the pub and kind of hoof it there. And by the time I got to the pub, you know, I was doing the same kind of thing, just kind of breathing. My legs were wobbling. I was breathing heavy. And the guy's taking my ID, and I got my arm on. Okay, man, I'm so cool. Can I come in? You know, I just go in. And I was cool after a couple empanadas and and uh, iced teas made me feel a lot better. Just sit down and, and listen to my buddy uh, do his thing. Um, so that's the first time I've, I've been able to kind of get out and nightlife stuff. I, I had brunch with a friend of mine on Sunday morning, which is, you know, also... My, that was my real first time out into the world kind of thing by myself. And that went really well. It was like a two-hour total thing. So those are all encouraging signs for me and things that I like to do. And I want to be able to do those. So now I'm kind of getting back into the, the swing of things. That's, that's always a positive thing. And it kind of keeps me, you know, my eyes on the prize, uh, just getting total recovery kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Um, I missed out on some things though, and that's been kind of weighing heavily on me. There's, you know, my, like I said earlier, I'm a huge music fan. I missed out on some concerts that I really want to go see. Um, and I had a friend's birthday party. Her birthday was on Saturday in DC, and I just wasn't up for it. I had had a long day, and, and I didn't know if I was going to make it in um, the drive-in, or even if I was trying to find a cab and cab it in. I was going to be, I was going to be whooped, man. So. Uh, I, I missed out on her birthday, but I feel, I feel really bad about it. But the important thing is, you know, you feel bad, but it's better not to overclock the system, you know, and, and then be really, you know, maybe be do something that's detrimental to the health. So um, the other thing is that it's weird, you know, being alone right now. Like I guess you know, I keep talking about, you know, going out and doing things by myself. My folks are gone, and it's kind of weird. Um, I had to go back to, you know, cooking for myself and doing shopping and all that kind of stuff. And I'm doing it slowly. I'm not, you know, carrying too much stuff or, or you know, doing anything where I'm, you know, making like a huge roast where I got to, you know, carry it in a big thing. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, going on my own speed and it's going okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm, uh, don't tell my folks, but I'm really happy that I get to watch football by myself. They're maniacs when the football games are on. I mean, a lot of yelling and it's very stressful. I mean. Uh, I love them to death, but I don't know if I can watch any more football games with them. They're, they're out of control. Um, so, uh, let's see. That's Oh, speaking of them, you know, it, it's, it's weird being alone, but, you know, I, I promise I've talked to them. I still talk to them daily. You know, I have to call. My mom is really, you know, making sure she, she swore me, swore me to, to calling 
and giving her their updates. So now I'm just giving her the rundown. You know, I woke up at this time. I went to the bathroom at this time. I ate this at, this, at breakfast. I did this and this and this. I walked this much distance and this much time. And she's just laughing at me now. I just keep, I just go on this, this spiel of stuff I've done during the day. So um, it's going pretty well, you know, and, and, I, and I miss them. I miss them being around. It's weird not having somebody there you can talk to or, or just be, you know, just be supportive of you day in, day out. But I get that on the phone too. So it's time to kind of break away and, and, and plunge forward or, or trudge forward, do something forward to get, to get better. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I'll have another video coming up in about a week or so and let you know how week seven or whatever it is is going. Um, I got a, my niece is getting engaged, is not getting engaged. She's getting baptized on Saturday. She's a little girl. She's not getting engaged. Um, but I'm going to go into that. So it'll be a long drive for me to get up to the Baltimore area. Um, I'll be standing in, you know, in like a church atmosphere during a service kind of thing. And so it's going to be a good test for me to make sure I'm up to speed. And then next week I start going full time to work. Uh, no more half days. I think all my short term disability benefits run out this week. So. Um, Follow-up videos should be coming, and I'll talk more about those. But until then, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for the support, and hope you're having a good day. All right, bye.